for that. Third time you have won the Winter Nationals. It's your 32nd career win. 11 consecutive years now, you've won at least one pro stock race, and I don't know if you're aware of it, that's the longest streak in the Miller Yellow Series right now. And uh, let's start with the really important stuff. Have you talked to Greg? Not yet. I talked to him this morning, and uh, he, uh, he gave me strict instructions, so, uh, um, but I have not talked to him after the race. He'll be happy with me, I'm pretty sure. Are, are you aware that he was watching on the computer from his hotel bed? I was. Uh, or for his, his hospital bed, excuse me. He's in a hotel already. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I was made aware of that after the race. So, uh, yeah, no, it's really cool. And I'm glad he's doing good. I mean, obviously, that uh, that's a huge deal. He's, uh, you know, again, uh, I'm forever indebted to him because he, uh, he gave me an opportunity that nobody else would have. There's no question. Tell me about your day. Um, obviously, again, strange as it is, it's good to be sitting next to you. So, but uh, <laughs> well, hey, did you breathe all that fumes or what? What's that? You For those of you who don't know, we have a little. Should I tell them? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, it's it's strange that it's good to be sitting next to Alan. Most people try to sit further away from him. That's all. So, uh, my day is great. I'm getting to see you guys, and um, it's a huge deal to start the season off like this. So, uh, and I didn't want to lose to an ugly dodge in the final. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big deal. So, uh, we've struggled. You know, last couple of years haven't been what we had hoped for sure, and uh, we we worked hard all winter. Um, I think we made progress. Um, obviously, um, we're off to a good start, so that, that means a lot to us. Our guys have uh, they've worked really hard, and it, you know the, the sport is it's just crazy competitive right now, and it's very hard to separate yourself from, from everybody. So uh, we're working hard to do that, and to be able to start this year uh, this way is, is a great thing. Question for Jason: How difficult was it to get better with each run throughout the day as well? How difficult was it to keep getting better every run? Um, did we get better each run? Oh, um, apparently it wasn't that hard. Uh, we, we set the bar really low first round, so then it was uh, it was easier. So uh, we really we really didn't run that great, and uh, the final round was uh, was probably the best run. It still it still wasn't a great feeling run. So uh, I know we ran 52 something, but uh, um, struggled uh, struggled with a few things. Thought we should have ran faster than that, but uh, but all in all, it's really good. But yeah, it's easy to go go fast for each run when you run so lousy the first run. So. Maybe that's the key, I don't know. But uh, I'm just happy the win that came on four times. Let me ask you about Vincent Nobile and his team coming on board, driving a car that you used to drive, qualified better than you, number one, actually. I mean, at some point you started going, I think we gave those guys the wrong stuff. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, yeah, I hated that car. I, I, I struggled I struggled with that car, but I watched it make a run in Phoenix. And I said, man, I, I don't know what, either I was doing something wrong or, uh, or, or they're really doing something right. I don't know, but uh, I'm very happy for them. So uh, they're they're great, uh, great people. And uh, obviously we want to give them competitive stuff. And, uh, you know, obviously this weekend shows that we can do that. So um, uh, they're going to be tough. Yeah, it, 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 he's, like I said before, I'd rather have him on my team than have to race against it because he's a good driver. Yes. How much interaction is there between your team and uh, Vincent's? How much interaction between the teams off track? Well, they're Greeks and Italians, so there's a lot of interaction. <laughs> they, they, there's a lot of talking. Oh, <laughs> but, yeah, beyond that. And a lot of hugging. So uh, uh, I noticed. There's a lot of interaction, actually. So, you know, again, uh, we're, we're helping them as much as we can, and uh, I think, um, you know, we're, we're definitely treating them as a, as a team car. So. Uh, they're uh, they're great folks, and uh, they're going to be tough to beat this year. Anybody else have anything for Jason? Yeah. Oh, question, so. question about the track. Everybody seemed to do well at the track today. The conditions were better than usual, as good as usual. What? Um, the conditions were rate the track and the for people that couldn't hear the question. Rate the track and conditions today compared to other times you've been to Bavon. Well, I think you know it's probably reasonably typical of uh, of a Winter Nationals. Obviously not a. Uh, not the world finals, but um, um, you know it's cool this time of year. Obviously, uh, the track is good. I struggled first round. Uh, I got a little bit to the left, and I, I got way towards the center line. And uh, you know, I was uh, I lived it ten times on the run. I just couldn't get my foot to come off the pedal. So, uh, but the other runs, uh, you know, the racetrack was very good. So no no complaints at all. NHR did a great job in track prep. Mm -hmm. um, track was uh, as good as you could ask for. So you're starting smack talk with the Dodgers? Yeah, it's starting smack talk with the Dodgers. That started four years ago. Well, I mean, the, this year. 
the, the replacement John Jaduga asked me about uh, um, the the Dodgers. You know, well, I mean, you can't compare a Camaro to that Dodge because like there's there's no comparison. Like the, the Camaro's it's just a lot better looking car. So I well, told him I didn't want to lose to an ugly Dodge. That's all. A pretty Dodge with a little tiny. Well. No I'm not sure there is a, a, a pretty dog in that particular there. body style. So I really like the Challenger. Not not so fond of the uh, the Avenger. That's all. I, I want to ask you one more thing before we turn you loose. Everybody knows that Greg Anderson works from five o'clock in the morning until midnight. How did you divvy up, or who took over, or how did all those responsibilities get done? He kept working. He worked the whole time until the day we left. I'm talking about this weekend. Oh, this weekend? Um, I'm not sure he's that early of a riser, to be honest with you. But uh, He's going to read this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he hates the morning. So um, we, all, we all pitched in and we all worked. And uh, you know, quite honestly, uh, uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Lund, the, the, the replacement Greg, was, uh, he was a big help, actually. So, uh, and he's a very capable guy. And uh, um, he, he was certainly a, an asset to me, for sure. There's no question. Hey, Jason, what was your reaction when you found out, and when did you find out about Greg's condition? What, what was your reaction when you found out what Greg was going to have to go through? Well, um, a lot of things, actually. You know, first and foremost, uh, you know, he, he came and talked to me about it, and, uh, you know, Greg, he, he keeps a lot of things to himself, and uh, he asked me about it, and, you know, my, my thought was to, he had the choice of having the surgery done uh, this fall um, or, or the spring. I said, you know, truth is, we kind of stink right now anyway, so <laughs> you might as well get the surgery done. By the time you're uh, you're healed up, you know, we should be better by then. So, uh, you know, the thought is, you want to miss, uh, you know, miss, uh, you know, a few races or, or possibly, uh, you know, have something bad happen to him. So, um, it was a no-brainer. So, and uh, and he, he was, uh, yeah, obviously he, he did the right thing. He had surgery, so. Um, for now on, he'll be, he'll be good for the rest of his life now, so, uh, which would be a long one, so, um, so it's all good. <clears throat> that it? Jason, thank, congratulations. Thank you for finally coming to join us. If you were as late on the starting line as you were to the press room, you would have never won this race, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know I was late getting up here. So. <laughs> You've won races before. You come up out here after you get done out there? It's been a while. It hasn't been that long. Thank you.